What's going on guys? My name is Unite the Clans and today I am going to teach you how to build a Firewatch Tower. And today I am coming at you from the massive Redwood Forest of Wick Willow. We are still waiting for the official Redwood biomes to hit the island and uh, I couldn't wait. So I went ahead and built this. It is a Firewatch style lookout tower in the middle of this mighty forest and I was going to wait to build one of these until the Redwoods hit our island on the Iron Mine server full of awesome YouTubers. I can't wait guys. So what we're going to do, you can take your first look at it here and then I am going to move on over to the Iron Mine server and we are going to build one of these together. Alright guys, we are back. That is my Quetzal beast it tailing us. Uh, I've built a raft and I have stocked it up with literally every piece you need to build a firewatch tower. And I have gone ahead and scouted, uh, I've scouted ahead for a good spot to build it. If I'm going to build one of these, I want it to look like it looks in that game. On the top of a hill with a great view of the lands around. And I think that spot is up here. Uh, on our right and I think there are a couple of good spots up there but I am just gonna get my uh, raft close enough beast can carry most of what we need for um, the firewatch tower but we're definitely gonna need more than one trip so what I'm gonna do is park I'm gonna grab half the stuff I'm gonna load him up and then I'm gonna scout the two locations I have uh, found which if I zoom in on myself let's see if I can do that um, you can see they're there, and I'm, I'm getting there. I'm almost there. Uh, so I, uh, I'm going to find one of the mountain peaks that's over here, one of the not too you know, tall ones that's got grass on top instead of rocks, and uh, I'm going to get started on this fire watch tower, guys. I'm going to bring you along for every step of the way. Uh, so I'll leave you now so I have as much time as possible to show you the build. Alright guys, this is my spot up here. Now, I haven't ever really done a build as a full-on tutorial, but we're going to try that today. I'd like you guys to be able to mimic this build, copy it in your own worlds. Uh, so what we're going to do is start with a platform here. And I think, I'm going to try and remember exactly how I did this, but uh, I want to make sure that there's room for a ceiling on each and every side, and there will be. I'm pretty sure of that. Yes, that's not a problem. Uh, so what we're going to do, this isn't actually our center point. What I want to do is get one like that, and then we're going to put a pillar through this one. And this, this is going to be our center point right here. Uh, so we should now be able to demolish the thatch floor. Yaha! Okay, and now we're going to fill this out. Uh, I'm going to put um, uh, platforms on every side of it, and we're going to have a 3x3. Three three. Alright guys, so what you should now have uh, is this. It is a 3x3 three three platform, held all ceilings held up by a single pillar. Now the key, the next thing we want to do is get pillars on the corners, but look, that's not going to happen, it doesn't want to lock in there. So this is the trick, if you're not familiar with it, you use fence foundations, and I've got the really simple wooden ones. Uh, there's two positions, inside and outside. Uh, I'm just going to go with outside because I don't think it really matters and I think that one looks better. And then suddenly you can lock a pillar to the corner. So I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, yes. Okay. So let's lock that pillar in and we'll keep it up over here. Uh, I'll do this on all these corners and then when I'm feeling good about it, I think what I'm going to do is have the lowest pillar on each of these corners be stone. Uh, something like that. I like the way that looks and I'm going to keep it up, guys. All right, guys, this is what you should now have. Uh, pillars on every corner, including stone at the bottom. And we're going to take the wood the rest of the way up. So I think the next thing I'll do is start uh, taking these pillars higher and higher and higher. All right, guys, that is as high as I can go all by my lonesome. So what you're going to need for this next part is a flyer. If you have a flyer, uh, honestly, I think probably the Argentavis is the best bet because uh, Quetzes are big and uh, Terras are too fast. But what you're going to need is to be able to fly around and do that. Uh, so I'm going to go until I run out of pillars, and then we are going to start the next section. All right, guys, I think that's high enough for me. So I'm going to go ahead and slap ladders all along the uh, middle pillar. Uh, I may need to do what I did last time, but I think actually with these, you can just climb 
and place as you climb. Uh, just like in Minecraft. So we'll do that. And oh, what a noob. Doesn't even know how to climb a ladder. All right, there we go, guys. The ladder is all the way to the top or close enough to it uh, that it doesn't matter. And we are going to try. There are a lot of positions you can lock a platform into, but the highest one sits above. Uh, it sits above everything. And uh, it means that the tops of these wooden pillars won't stick through your floor. So that right there is our first piece. And I think, I think I've done that right. We'll see. Um, I'm going to grab my bird and I'm going to try and lay out a platform up there. Now, the key to that platform is that it's going to come beyond these pillars. It's going to be bigger than the platform we had down here. So you're going to have a 3x3 three three interior and uh, a out exterior that's one wide. All right, guys. So we have everything as high as we are need to get it. Now, the next key and it is a big key, is to center your upper platform off that central pillar. Uh, it's, I th if I remember, it's the only way it really works uh, is to do it this way. Uh, so I am going to do a, what is it, a 5x5 five five platform, and then we can move on to putting railings on and building the uh, building on top. So that's how it looks. What we're going to do next is railings all along the outside, and then we are going to build a 3x3 three three roofed room on the inside. All right, guys. So we have got a, a railing all around the outside of this thing. I left one space right there, partially because I ran out of railings, but secondly, because we're going to need a ladder. Uh, the system that I had set up there in the middle definitely isn't going to work. That middle pillar is really essential. Uh, so what we're going to do now is build a... Um, a little cabin on top of here uh, in the style of firewatch so i'm gonna hop off i'm gonna try and get uh everything i need from my beast and then i'll hopefully get him to land uh we'll see how much he's gonna play along all right guys so here we go this is where i'm thinking of putting a ladder so this is where we're gonna go ahead and lay down a door uh, most of this place is gonna be in windows except uh, and i think we'll use the standard texture uh, most of this place is going to be uh, with windowed walls, except I've brought one wooden wall because I'd love to get a war map up uh, once we've got this place looking the way we want it to look. So I'm going to go ahead and place one here uh, once I've got it in the right spot. All right, guys, this is what you should have in front of you now. I've been working throughout the night. Uh, you just got to be really, really careful when you're placing these because it could lock to this one. It could lock to this one. And either way, it could lock with a different side facing. So make sure things line up and that the texture looks the same. I'll show you. That looks right. And it is. Okay, we only have one more to place. Oh, come on, beast. Taking dumps in the middle of my firewatch tower. Uh, so the best way to do it with the wood walls is to make sure that the the logs line up like at the end of a log cabin. There. Oh, good. Perfect. Well, I will place this last wall, and when I have finished it, we're going to start work on the roof. All right, guys. So this next section is a little more complex. We are going to start uh, with 16 stone ceilings, and we are going to place these not hanging over the edge like this, not on the inside like this, but on the corner like that. And we're going to turn this 3x3 three three interior building into a 4x4 four four, uh, at this roof level. So that's why I need 16. Uh, I'm going to go around and uh, place all these guys, and then I will show you my plans for the top of the place. Uh, you should have what now looks like this. Now, these look particularly good. Uh, I guess I can show you. Uh, the stone ceilings. They look particularly good when they're uh, off center because they have this wooden uh, 2x4 type board right down the middle. It makes them look good when uh, centered on top of a wall. Uh, but what we have to do next probably requires me being on top like I just was. So let's see if we can't get on and off of beast and perfect. Here we go. Uh, so the next thing you are going to need is a uh, pair of the wooden uh, sloped walls. So I'm going to two for the left and two for the right. And let's locate our front door. It's over here. You want to line, make sure you line up with your door. 
and uh, you could do either texture to be honest uh, if I do it like that you are gonna get the wooden texture the standard exterior if I do it over here and press E to flip it for me it's Q but uh, then you get the interior texture and I think uh, I think I want the interior texture so let's do it like that yeah so I think that looks particularly good in this setup let's grab the other one here and it is gonna line up naturally which is always nice okay cool so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side uh, and then what we're gonna do is a sloped stone roof over top of the whole thing so that that is the way we want it yes it is okay perfect uh, so things are coming together now in this build uh, we are very close to finishing it up so the next step is a sloped stone roof and I got four of those and these are also tricky to place what you want to make sure is that they overhang the edge ever so slightly there's a couple of different positions you could have them in uh, I'm gonna make sure it I'm right here when I place it there that looks perfect to me uh, because if you don't if you place them wrong uh, you'll see when we get the second one in it's gonna have a couple positions it's gonna want to lock into so there's one there uh, one there oh you know what maybe it's playing along today so I'm just gonna go ahead and place that and you'll see we've got the slightest of overhangs on this side and hopefully I've got the slightest of overhangs on this side we do and you get this really smooth transition from the flat stone roof to the sloped and these are set back because we flipped them uh, so they I don't know you get a bit of a gable uh, and so I'm gonna do the same thing with these two guys and then then we're pretty much done. Uh, what all that'll be left is to decorate Mother Effer, the interior of this place. So I'm going to make a new stone roof. I'm going to finish roofing this place in, and then we will decorate the interior. All right, guys. So I have gone ahead and done what I said I would do. Now I have played Firewatch, guys. I got to make sure I give you a link to my let's play of the game in case you've been looking for somebody awesome who played it who you want to watch but my goal here is to replicate the little map thing that was in the center of the tower uh, by throwing one of the war maps on this blank wall and I think that is gonna work I like it okay let's take a look at what else is in my inventory some wall signs uh, reinforced windows and a reinforced door which we can place now a couple of benches a smithy some chairs uh, cooking pot torches a bookshelf table fireplace a fire pit forge uh, I'm gonna take some time and get all of this stuff as much of this stuff as I can set up in here and I'll come back to you when it's starting to look like the place from Firewatch all right windows and doors are in I've chosen to leave a few closed and a few open just for a little uh, variety and the next thing I'm gonna do is get a bed in these always seem to be in the corner and uh, at least in every one of these firewatch towers I saw while doing research for this episode but we got that done and there's no such thing as a bedside table yet so I'm gonna take this Ooh, that's a little bigger than I remember it okay why don't we do it uh, this a ways and like so perfect so that's your bedroom corner uh, we got a table and the table is going to be uh, we're gonna have to have that in front of a window to mimic Henry's desk from the game uh, so I think I think it should be somewhat opposite yeah you got a good, a good lot of forest out these windows so this is a perfect spot for it let's go ahead and put one there and we'll use one of my chairs that I've brought uh, to put in front of it I think have I brought the chairs yes I have so we'll go ahead and do that the others I'm not quite so sure yet so I'll place it like this and rotate it into position beauty okay now a couple of the big items that need to find a home and need to find a home ASAP are a fireplace a forge and a smithy so let's get all three of those on the bar uh, that's not it the forge uh, and the smithy now I want this to be a practical base guys I don't want this just to be for show not a whole lot of point to that in a survival game so we're gonna go ahead and get uh, what do we think the smithy 
to me, I was hoping this would replicate the little uh, little wood stove. Uh, so I think I'll stick that in this corner. Yeah, yeah, perfect. And it'll have the a little, looks like a chimney almost going out the top. And then the fireplace. The fireplace is going to have to go. Let's go ahead and close another one of these windows. And let's go ahead and put the fireplace right in freaking front of it. Thinking something like that. All right. Perfect. Now this is key. Let's uh, get some spark powder in there. We'll get this thing lit up. Start to get some uh, ideas of what this place is going to look like. And I'll do the same with the forge. Smithy, uh, we need to get, and I think the key is going to be to get something in the middle of the room here. Because uh, these never seem to have a whole lot of wide open space. There's a similar looking thing in uh, the game, uh, The Long Dark, uh, that I took a little inspiration from. Uh, so let me see, where did I, Smithy on my bar. So I'm thinking what I'll do is get a smithy in the center here. And guys, you could totally, I just didn't bring one, but you should probably replace this centerpiece here with uh, a regular old wooden ceiling. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking there. And then to back up against it, why don't we go ahead and use our other table? Uh, this could be like a dining table, something like that. And we'll see if it's going to play along. It, it is glitching a little bit. It was kind of weird the way it was lower in the floor there. Yeah, I'm going to take advantage of that. Let's do that. Uh, okay, perfect. So, yeah, if I were you, I'd replace this with a regular ceiling, but I kind of like the way that's going to look. So the next thing we're going to do is throw a bench in front of this table instead of a chair, and this will be like a dining area. Perfect. A little off-center. I like it. And uh, what's next? What do we got left in the old inventory? I got a reinforced window. We're not going to need that. Uh, some wall torches. Feeding trough we'll put at the bottom. How about a bookshelf, large storage box, campfire I don't think I'm going to incorporate. I just don't think we're going to have a whole lot of room for a campfire in this place. Uh, so the bookshelves, we are going to have some trouble getting those in. What I want to do is cram them in around this center area, really make it crowded looking. Uh, so let's go bookshelf there. Super close to the smithy, tall enough to fit it in here. And then I'm going to do the large storage box. Same thing, but on the other side. Something like that. So you got a very crowded middle. And like I said, the middle always seemed crowded in Firewatch. And same thing with the lookout tower in the long dark. I like the way this is starting to come together. Um, I don't have a whole lot left. Uh, if I brought a mortar and pestle, I'd throw it on that table, and I totally didn't, which is a bummer. Uh, and then all I've got left, really, is some torches. Yeah, okay, guys. So let's go ahead and finish this up. I think I'll leave uh, the extra storage boxes in the cooking pot. Maybe we'll throw a couple chairs in uh, for a little spice, maybe one like this by the fire. Right? And maybe one uh, at the foot of the bed, something like that. Yeah, let's go ahead and stick one there. And I think otherwise we're, we're too crowded to do a whole lot more, guys. So i uh, going to take the, oh, God, glitching through my quets that's on the roof. So I'm going to put one of these here, and we'll put a couple of things of spark powder in it. And we'll light this baby up, and I'm going to balance it out with another one on the other side. Uh, and I think I had it. Yeah, something like that. Uh, this, I, I'm not of the mind that a build like this has to be perfect. It's almost beneficial to have some uh, imbalance. It, it really adds to some of the authenticity of something like this. So I think we're well lit up on the inside. For the outside, I'm going to mirror the torches we just did. I'm going to put one. Uh, why don't we go, go a little lower, something like that. And we'll get this one lit up. Now, a real Firewatch tower would have hydro and lights, but I didn't go ahead and bother with any of that today, guys. The last thing I'll do is take some of our standing torches. I brought four. I'm going to put one at each corner of this place, light them up, and then I think the time will have come to, uh, for us to do a flyby. Really look around and take a good look at this thing, okay? Screw a flyby, guys. I think, I think the best way to approach is on foot, just like in the game. Uh, I think 
the real view, best view of this is from the ground. Uh, actually, that's not true. It doesn't look that good from the ground. But once we get up there, it's going to look good. And I wanted to do an approach on foot. So there you go, guys. A 3x3 three three foundation, pillar in the middle, pillars on the corners, including stone. Uh, build all the way up and then center from your center uh, pillar uh, and build a 5x5 five five, uh, platform on top. Uh, now the outer one is a deck. We've gone ahead and put railings on all of that. Uh, lit it up with torches and then the middle is key. It is a 3x3 three three build made of wood uh, with a flat and arched roof. This kind of does both as you can see there. And let's take a look inside. So you got your bed right here. Uh, little chair, little bookshelf. You got the fireplace and a chair in front of it. I like the way this looks. You got a little dining area, some storage, a smithy right next to your forge and a map to keep track of where the forest fires are. Guys, I think that is going to do it for this episode of Ark Survival Evolved from the Iron Mind server. My name is Unite the Clans, and this has been my guide to building an amazing-looking Firewatch Tower. Tell me what you think, hit me up in the comments, and if you want to see me tackle any builds in the near future, all you gotta do is ask. But, like I said, that is going to do it for this one. Geeks, I will see you all in the next episode. Oh, man, all, uh, it is, it is bad says, news down whoa. there. That's Indiana oh, no, Jones' please, worst nightmare the, at the bottom of this exactly thing. exactly the thing I just shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, die. Oh, we are wrecking these. Oh, I've got... Oops, I got the wrong arrows. I'm shooting them with <laughs> Trank arrows. Yeah, oh, don't do that. Watch out for the centipedes. They got ranged attacks. Do they? Or are they hit? Yeah, they spit acid blood in your oh, yeah. face. Okay, so then I don't we know gotta... if I'm doing any damage with the shotgun. Yeah, it feels like it's not shotgun range, so I'm just yeah. launching some arrows at these scumbags. Yeah, it's working for me. Is it? I don't think I have any arrows. Yeah, I'm getting them. Don't. Uh, I got okay. to aim, but I, I'm getting them. Oh man, these centipedes are creepy. Uh -huh. Everything, everything at the bottom of here is creepy. There's nothing that's not creepy. <laughs>